hey everyone thanks for joining me at my channel this is going to be a quick faux dreadlock tutorial and i use three different kinds of femi collection hair sent to me by femi collection so thank you femi collection for this i have really enjoyed working with this hair it's something i've never done before but it was fun to do something different and it didn't take me a long time to install at all the hair is really good quality and was very easy to work with. I'd seen some videos on YouTube by other ladies who did the fake dreadlocks and I really enjoyed them and they looked very beautiful. So I thought, you know what, let me try that too. And this is just how I wanted to install mine. I haven't quite seen anyone install it the way I did, but I did um, get a few ideas from some other ladies and I hope you guys will definitely enjoy this video. I will see you in the next one. This is my holiday look by the way. So enjoy it and happy holidays you guys. I will be using three kinds of Femi Collection hair all in the color 1B. Three bags of Femi Collection Jamaica braid hair. Two bags of Femi Collection's Kinky Twist braid. And one bag of Femi Collection 84 inch 100% Canicolon hair. This is my braid pattern. It's just cornrows going straight to the back. And this is the front. This is what the Jamaican braid hair looks like. And I'm going to be using a latch hook to install it all over the back of my hair. With my latch hook already open, I'm going to grab my dread hair. Push the latch hook through the cornrow. Put the hair on. Close the latch hook. Pull through and put both threads through the loop and secure it firmly and this hair secures really well so you don't have to worry about knotting or looping around and anything like that it secures really really well I'm almost done installing the hair and I'm just using the 100% canicle on hair and I'm getting individual braid sizes <coughs> Again, I'm going to be using my latch hook and I have my latch hook already open. I'm going to insert my latch hook through the cornrow, hook the hair on, close the latch hook, pull one section completely through and begin twisting. Now I'm going to grab two pieces of the kinky twist hair and make sure they are kind of even. Like that. And again I'm using the full length of the kinky twist hair. I'm not cutting it at all. Then I'm going to get about two inches of the hair and place it like that. You can see it's sticking out right there and begin to wrap the twist. Occasionally, as I wrap the twist, I just push the hair up to make sure there are no gaps in between and then continue wrapping. Once I reach the very end of the hair, I just continue wrapping and I start to wrap a little more firmly to make sure the hair is really wrapped into each other really secure. When I'm done, I just reach for my scissors and cut the excess hair off and then grab my lighter and burn the ends like this. And at this point, I can go ahead and neaten up my dread by burning the length of it in sections. So 
so this is the finished look you guys and i am really enjoying this hair i've never tried this style before and i think it came out pretty decent so definitely let me know what you guys think it looks like on me i love it so i hope you guys are going to like it too um i'm going to show you how full it is in the back and the idea is to save time it didn't take me a long time to install this at all because the jamaican braid you install that very quickly the dreads are already made for you and then the hair is very lightweight so this is not heavy at all as full as it looks thanks for watching you guys i will definitely see you in the next video be sure to rate comment and subscribe bye